All right, shake cam. <clears throat> Quick demo of uh, <laughs> my prototype. Uh, essentially, what I have here is a uh, an STM32 uh, hooked up to the serial port of a gerbil instance on an Arduino Uno. Um, and I've got three rotary encoders. I have to remap these right now. And um, if I'm in uh, what's called passive mode here with this, this toggle button, um, that doesn't do anything. Um, well, it does do something. It essentially allows me to uh, do pass-through commands uh, for whatever GUI I want to use for my CNC controller. Um, and as soon as I turn on jog mode, then I can, um, I can go ahead and, uh, rotate any axis. And although the text is kind of hard to see because this display has this weird bi-color mode, which I didn't actually think I ordered, um, you can see that, um, Adjusting all three of the axes uh, allow me to go ahead and, and jog the machine. And if I hit this button here, uh, I can go ahead and increase my step size. So this is a half a millimeter step size um, for whatever axis I choose. And then the other thing that I added here is if I click this button, I go into... Uh, a mode versus I mode, and this essentially maps the acceleration speed of the wheel, and it will go ahead and move. Uh, it will move a step size uh, that's proportional to the speed that I choose, and um, when I stop, the uh, it'll actually issue the gerbil. Um, jog stop command and so it should actually halt uh, it should halt the machine um, immediately now with gerbil you have to match all your commands with uh, what's called a a response message and right now the way I'm doing that is a little bit hacky so I, I have to refactor everything to make sure that every time I send a command uh, a certain type of command that I receive an okay response and then uh, I only uh, buffer a certain quantity of those commands and so right now if you if you run out of buffer you can't actually issue um, you, you can issue the, the cancel command but it doesn't actually do anything until the buffer clears um, I, 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 there's some weird race condition where that happens so I'm trying to refactor everything so that that works um, right now incremental word incremental mode works good um, it won't toggle right now I, I may have I may be in a locked up state because I'm waiting for the, um, I'm waiting for those, uh, I'm waiting for those command OKs to come back from the gerbil controller. But anyway, um, the idea here is that, um, you've got all three axis control and, you know, if I'm looking at the machine, I should be able to feel which axis I need. So if I want to lower my Z axis, I can just feel this top one. This is going to be my Y axis. I can roll this around. And if I want to do my um, my Z axis, I can do that. So I can literally get, you know, I can literally get my fingers on all three controls at the same time. I don't have to worry about looking down at a knob and figuring out which, um, I don't have to, I don't have to figure out which axis I'm selected on. And, you know, I find when you're trying to set the machine up in the right position and set your work coordinates, you know, as you look back and forth between the machine, you know, a touch screen just isn't really a good interface for that unless you can look at the machine moving as you're as you're interacting with it but you can't really feel which control you're on and in, in this one it's it's tactile i can i can feel um you know each different axis and uh control it the way i want to um, and then eventually the idea here is that i'm going to be able to do some semi-manual milling operations with this setup so anyway that's uh that's a quick update i'm going to refactor to make sure that i can uh, parse the response messages from gerbil and, and that I don't overflow the buffer uh, and then I should be able to set this thing up on an actual machine versus just a, uh, a, 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 a you know a gerbil on a on a blank uno 
uh, and test it out a little bit. So thanks for watching.